In this video, I want to talk you through the Saturator, which is a free DC2L for DaVinci Resolve, which allows you to make creative adjustments to your saturation. Here it is. The first slider that we have is just a very straightforward saturation knob that works exactly as you would expect it to work. It controls the overall amount of saturation, which means it's basically just a gain adjustment to your saturation channel. The second slider is probably the more interesting one, and this one is vibrancy. And what it does is essentially it applies gamma to your saturation, meaning that you're really pushing the lower and medium saturated colors up to give them more colorfulness and make your image feel more vibrant while leaving the highly saturated colors well alone and making sure that they don't become garish and unpleasant looking. And this is really interesting when played against the saturation knob. So you could really raise the overall vibrancy of the image quite a bit and then control the ceiling of your saturation with the saturation slider, meaning that you're compressing the saturation together and get an overall feeling of more colorfulness without getting any jarring looking highly saturated colors. And where it gets really creative is when you use the additive versus subtractive slider to choose exactly the cocktail of additive versus subtractive style saturation you want to apply to your image. And this is basically using HSL and HSV to get these different styles of saturation, but it's also taking into account that these two color spaces have reversed roles when it comes to reducing saturation. So this slider will always honor your creative intent rather than just stupidly blending the two color spaces together. And then there's the density slider, which is by its nature always subtractive, so it won't take into account what the subtractive versus additive slider is doing. And this is just an automated version of that famous HSV density trick that gives your highly saturated colors the richness and depth that we associate with a filmic look. And especially when you're dialing in quite a bit of saturation, that last preserve highlight slider can be really helpful to achieve more natural and transparent looking results by just taking away some of that effect from the very brightest parts of your image. And because I believe tools like this should be available to everyone, I'm offering this tool for free. You don't have to pay for it. You're very welcome to donate to me whatever it is worth to you. But if you can't, I know times are tough. Don't worry about it. You're very welcome to just grab it for free and leave it at that. If you can't pay, just get it for free. And if you can, just get it for free anyway if you want. I don't know. I don't care. One thing to remember is this is a DCTL, and so by its nature, it requires the full DaVinci Resolve Studio version to run this. Unfortunately, not much I can do about it, even though I wish I could. So yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching, and please do try out the tool. And if you have any feedback, please let me know about it.